Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about something that is something that I kind of struggle with in life. A lot of times when I make a video I'm trying to share something that I feel like I have a unique insight into. And in this video I'm sharing something that it's sort of like a problem in my life that I haven't necessarily solved. So um, I'm kind of throwing it out there. I just want to share a little bit about myself. Food is really important to me. Like I really love food. I love eating. I love cooking. I love going out to eat. I love shopping for food. I think about food a lot. I like to talk about food. And food is often something that has the potential to help me connect with other people. But it's also, unfortunately, something where it also has the potential to sort of make me feel disconnected from other people. And I want to share something that I struggle with a lot. This happened the other day. I was hanging out with a group of people, people that I actually really like a lot and was enjoying hanging out with. And we were talking about where we wanted to go to lunch. And I had some suggestions. I was like, hey, there's this Szechuan Chinese restaurant. It's like authentic Szechuan food really near here. There's also a Vietnamese restaurant that I really like. And there's a Korean restaurant that I really like. Uh, and some of the people there, though, were like not too thrilled about these ideas. And so we ended up agreeing on Applebee's as sort of the like least common denominator, the like least strongly disliked of the option, options available. And I wasn't, wasn't really too thrilled with this outcome. I don't really like Applebee's. I think it's rather overpriced relative to the quality and level of like excitement that I get out of the food. Um, and I, I just don't like chain restaurants very much across the board. Like I find that them kind of uninteresting. I love like small family owned restaurants and especially ethnic restaurants. It's just like how I prefer to eat. And it's not just like my taste in restaurants that I feel disconnects me from people sometimes. Like there's a lot of stuff in our society that I feel is really common, especially like sweet foods, that I tend not to like as much as most people. I just tend not to like sugary foods very much. I'm not a big fan of ice cream, not a big fan of cake. I love like rich fatty cakes, like cheesecake and stuff. I love chocolate chip cookies, but like just typical cake. I tend not to like it, like a birthday cake at a party, that kind of thing. Uh, and it seems like most people like that kind of thing, and most people like just generic vanilla ice cream, whereas if you just sort of pick a vanilla ice cream and present it to me, I'd rather probably not eat it, even if I'm a little bit hungry. I'd have to, have to be pretty hungry to want to eat vanilla ice cream. So there, there's like a long list of foods that are like really mainstream in America that I either dislike or am not too thrilled about. I feel like globally though, I'm not like a picky eater, I'm an adventurous eater. I like a wide range of ethnic foods and I like like sort of weird foods, like things like beef tendon and tripe. I like octopus and squid and not in just like fried calamari where it's like breaded. I like like actually having sauteed octopus and squid or having it in soup. Uh, there are a lot of things like that, like just weird herbs and vegetables, spices. I'm just I like stuff like that. I tend to like traditional foods from cultures that I didn't grow up in and that I only became familiar with as an adult. I'm not 100% sure why, but I've noticed that I tend to feel better after eating these foods. And it's something that kind of divides me from a lot of people. Like a lot of my close friends aren't as excited about ethnic food as I am and aren't as excited about these sorts of traditional foods. And so it sort of puts me into conflict when I'm hanging out with people and people don't want to go to eat at the places that I really feel passionate about going to eat. And then when people want to go somewhere and I, I really like, sometimes it's even stronger than not wanting to go there. I honestly find some of the food in some restaurants sort of soul crushing. And I don't think I'm exaggerating to say that. Like I think it's insipid and I just get this horrible feeling. I'm like, why well, am I paying 12 bucks for this meal that is like, I feel bad eating it. I don't enjoy eating it, you know? So I don't know how to resolve this. I mean, you can say like, look for new friends, but it's like sometimes I connect with people. Sometimes I really like someone and we have a lot of areas in which we do connect. And so sometimes I have periods in my life where I'm struggling with this a lot. And I don't really know how to deal with it always. Like it's, maybe it's something I just need to accept and say, well, I'm not going to connect with everyone in every way. But some part of me wishes I could just like have it all. You know, like I, I want to connect with my friends in the way I already connect and also connect with them about food. Um, 
personally, I sometimes wish I could just change the mainstream food culture in America, because I don't think it's particularly healthy or sustainable. I think there's some sort of objective ways in which my preferences are perhaps a little bit healthier and better for the environment, certainly not across the board, but like in certain cases, like certain types of fish, you know, you go to a typical restaurant and it's like, you see on the menu like tuna and swordfish and things like that, those aren't necessarily the most sustainable fish. And I've discovered like a whole range of fish that I like to eat, but they're not really available in these mainstream restaurants. And like that's one of the reasons that I don't like going to these mainstream restaurants. And I like going to these like ethnic restaurants because they have stuff on the menu that like squid and like smaller fish that is not only healthy, but it's like more sustainable, it's cheaper, and I just feel like across the board it's just like a better thing. I know. So I'm thinking about all this stuff. If you have any insights to share, I'd really love to hear from you. Is this something that you struggle with too? Have you found a way to sort of cope with it, or a way to kind of like locate people that you connect with about food culture and also about other things? I don't know. Uh, please, I'm throwing this out there kind of like for the first time, like, do you have any insights to offer me? So I'd love to hear from you on that. Uh, yeah, thanks for your time, and hope to hear from you all. Bye bye!